the forehead of your robot. The following was pieced together from a thread on 4chan's bare normal board from May 8th and 10th, 2013. Hey X, I need some advice. I know this isn't technically paranormal, but it's creepy as fuck and I'm not sure what to do. I go to college in the northwestern United States and a few weeks ago, during a party I was at, I stole a laptop and an iPod. I don't need to hear about how bad a person I am for stealing, yeah I know and that's not going to help me now. I have occasionally stolen technology in the past to sell at pawn shops and stuff. I'm pretty good with computers, so I can usually circumvent their passwords and stuff, and sell them as if they were my own. Anyway, the computer I stole had some fucked up shit on it. Like some stuff that makes me think I stole from an actually violent and crazy person. I don't want to be too specific in case they or someone they know is on here, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing. But my question is, does anyone know how to break into a true crypt file? Is it even possible? There is one on here and I'm not even sure if I want to know what's on there after the crazy stuff I found that wasn't even password protected. I usually go through the computer first before I delete everything, it's kind of exciting for me, it's like spying on someone's life. I can see all their pictures, and check through their browsing history, sometimes there are even saved passwords on their computer for their Facebook and stuff so I can check through all that. I never fuck with their Facebook or anything, I just scope out their life. It is pretty exciting though, to kind of just rummage through a person's life. But the videos I found on this computer I have never seen anything like that before, even on crazy places like Motherless or Deep Web. They are obviously real though. I kind of feel like I ought to go to the police but I don't know how to explain how I came to be in possession of the computer, and I definitely don't want this guy knowing I stole his computer, and then turned him into the police. I can't really even make an anonymous tip because the house I was at was a friend of a friend, obviously I don't steal from people I know well, a ways away from campus and I don't remember exactly where it was, and the computer doesn't have a name, like how computers usually have recovery registration info and account names and stuff. Yeah, I guess there's like no chance of him seeing it here, or tracing it back to me. And he obviously knows someone stole his computer, but there were a bunch of people there that night, but no I'm definitely not going to put the videos up. Or talking about the videos in specifics. Just want to know if there is any way I can see the encrypted files. Yeah, lots of people there, but the room was like in the basement under the stairs. People were down in the basement smoking weed at one point, but it was pretty much empty after that. So later when we were about to go, I went down there to go pee and just went in his room real quick and threw the laptop and iPod in my backpack. Then we left pretty soon after. What a mouthful. Pretty normal room, although he did have a big Bowie knife sitting on his windowsill. Yeah, I guess. The computer had all the normal 4chan stuff, lots of gore and porn, no reaction pictures or gifs though I noticed, fairly normal computer history, I mean, still had some gory stuff, but that's pretty normal these days, add eraser, ccleaner, true crypt and stuff, but again, that's pretty normal for anyone who explore on the internet a lot and would rather be careful. But then I found the really fucked up videos. There are like three self-injury, I think, videos and one where he kills a dog. And none of these were password protected. He has a fucking true crypt, and he didn't even bother to put these in there. That's what makes me really nervous, just what the fuck did he bother to encrypt? No, you never see his face in any of the videos. No, the dog is like drugged or something because it's just sort of lying there and tries to get up a few times. Then he goes and puts this metal thing between its teeth so it can't close its mouth and cuts out its tongue. While he's doing this, the dog starts to roll around and squeal, so he puts the camera down while he holds the dog down and cuts out its tongue. Then he picks up the camera again and holds down its legs with his foot while he chops off its feet with a machete. The dog starts like this puking scream thing after three of its feet are gone. Then finally, he flips it over on its back and guts it. He puts the camera down during this part too, then picks it up and watches until the dog dies. It's disgusting. I literally had to throw up after I watched it. 
It's like a golden retriever looking thing. It's 12 and a half minutes long, and yeah the guy in it is pretty built. In the other ones, it's a guy putting cigarettes out on his inner thigh, nailing his ball sack to a piece of wood, like a table or something, and sewing his thigh up. He is stabbing this big needle into one side of his skin then the other and pulls his skin tight to make a kind of crisscrossing pouch. All three look like they hurt like hell. In the one where he nails down his balls he sounds like he's having a fucking orgasm. The whole time he's pounding the nail in he's just moaning, then he pulls back on his balls and stretches them out on the nail before he yanks the nail out. In the other two, you only kind of hear him hissing. Pretty sure the guy in all the videos is the same. Well it sounds like I probably can't get into the encrypted videos myself so I guess I'm just going to wipe what I can from the computer, take it apart, and throw it away. Normally I would sell it, but this guy is way too fucked to play around with, I wouldn't want it somehow traced back to me. I probably don't want to know what's on the other videos anyway. I just kinda feel like I have to know now that I have already seen all this other shit. Either way this guy is really nuts, no pun intended, and should probably be in a mental institution or something but is still just walking around. Honestly this whole thing has really fucked me up. I was so physically sick and paranoid the first night I saw them. I have been freaking out that this guy was gonna come after me or something, and it's just fucked in general. That people like this exist, and not just in creepy backwoods, but in our liberal northwest United States. I feel like I'm now always gonna be less able to trust people after this. I wish I had never stolen the computer and seen this messed up shit. You're probably gonna call me a pussy, but seeing something on the internet that you know lots of other people have seen that's probably fake anyway is way different than seeing really crazy graphic shit that you can't tell anyone about and knowing someone crazy now hates you and would probably kill you if they found out. What another mouthful. I really think that's what's in the true crypt videos, what else would this guy bother to encrypt? I still will open the encrypted videos if I can and it will probably be a few days before I wipe and toss the computer, if anyone can help me open them I will be monitoring X and B closely for the next couple of days. Just make a thread related to this and I will see it.